Right, so this is Charles Allen. I'm doing a little video tour of the XTM uh, 5500. The XTM 5500 is a twin engine uh, electric propulsion unit that can strap onto any high aspect ratio slash high performance hand glider. So here's my Laminar uh, Z9 um, with the unit hooked up to it. So it connects to the keel um, and it uh, um, has various uh, degrees that you can set it at for various thrust lines. Um, the propellers are counter-rotating, folding props. They're wood instead of carbon fiber, which would be nice, but they're pretty hard to source. It's got little uh, self-feathering uh, fairings that go around the tubes. It's all carbon fiber composite. Um, you can also change the, the angle which the motors um, hang, hang at to, to bring them a little bit lower, to lower your thrust line even more, in addition to the, um, the pitch here. Uh, the power cord um, has a quick disconnect which is through, goes through a, a Velcro on uh, pulley. Um, and then there's a couple other Velcro on guides to a little um, T pull at the end. So in a worst case scenario, you can just pull the, you do a hard pull and disconnect the battery. The battery is clipped to the, the keel inside the sail. Uh, it's a little, hard to see um, but you get a sense there it's hard tied to the front with a little clip so it can easily come out and then it's on a bungee around the hang strap this blue bungee um, and that basically allows if you whack the battery can slide forward the uh, controller just velcros onto the down tube and it is it also sends telemetry back all right so here's a closer look at the controller it clips onto a fair down tube um, it shows it's got a buzzer the buzzer doesn't do anything right now but it basically gives your throttle percent your estimated uh time remaining if it's not running it gives you the time based on the most amps you ever pulled the battery percent over here the volts the amps of motor one the amps of motor two and your combined amps that you're pulling and then your RPM for both of your, uh, both of the different, e each of the two motors, as well as the battery voltage for the, um, the controller. If you turn the arm off, it automatically shuts the motors. If this disconnects from, you know, the battery dies in this, it automatically shuts the motors. So basically, if the control, if the, if the unit on the glider doesn't receive a signal every um, 20 milliseconds uh, from the controller, it turns off. And if you push this button, um, it also shuts off the, the motor. So to turn it on, um, we can do a little run here. You flip the arm. Uh, let's get that all, see if we can get both of these focused. And you have to turn it a little bit so it won't, the motors won't turn on until you hit 35% just to ensure that the, um, the props have enough speed to, to open up. So that's 35%. Um, that's showing 47 volts, about 15 amps. If I keep firing this up, you can.
quick little look at the battery pack. There are two 1400 milliamp um, 25C uh, 12S batteries. Um, they're run in, I guess, uh, series. So it's about, you know, it's a 12S um, system or 40, 45 volts. Um, they're in a carbon fiber uh, case uh, and the, these different clips, these little clips here can be changed out to fit different glider keel sizes. So basically it just uh, velcros onto the, the keel and then in the front this little hook which I think needs to be beefed up a bit connects onto a rope that goes around the, the nose so that keeps it in one position and then the bungee um, goes around the hang point and comes back and clips on and that basically is tensioned up so this is always getting pulled towards the back um, so it won't slide forward if you were to go nose down or it shouldn't at least the bungee should pull it back um, and I mean even if it could it can't really go that far uh, it's pretty tight there's pretty limited space so if there's ever to be a four a four pack battery they would have to go out you know one more this way and one more this way just so that they could fit in the sail. Um, there's no real anti-twist mechanism, but I'm guessing it just bumped the sail. Uh, as long as it doesn't come off, it's, it should be fine. Um, yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the battery pack. All right, so in addition to the uh, twin engine sustainer, I also built a carbon e-help. Anyone's been following the e-help project. And that is, I don't, the rest, most of it's connected to the harness, but you can see here's a carbon tube that runs out to, it's a 36 inch by 14 and a half carbon prop. And this puts out um, about 30 kilograms of thrust compared to the um, 20 that uh, this little guy does. All in, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, this weighs 15 uh, and a half pounds, including the battery. And the runtime is uh, about um, seven minutes pulling, seven to eight minutes pulling 100 amps. Um, there's also an option to um, go with um, larger motors that would do 15 kilograms each versus these, which do max of 10, so it would be 30. Um, to put things in perspective, I was able to cli climb out with the carbon e-help on a Falcon, um, probably doing 50 feet a minute up. Um, we've got a nice little video of that. And that was with a much weaker motor on the same setup on the, the carbon e-help with a different prop, not as nice as this. And that was doing 22 kilograms of thrust. And I was able to get off the ground in a Falcon. I never even got upright, so um, I was probably pretty draggy. So I'm hoping that the, at least for this, the, 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 the XTM 5500 with uh, um, 20 kilograms of thrust in a, you know, high performance, you know, laminar uh, with a slick harness should, you know, give, uh, I'm hoping, you know, 100 to 200 foot per minute climb, um, which would be pretty ideal to make, you know, scooter towing, um, and or launching off a low mountain, you know, means to get in the air. And then once you're up, just, uh, you know, kill the engines and soar for an extra 15 pounds. It's not, uh, you know, not that bad. Um, and there's a lot that could be done, you know, in the future to, you know, tidy this back end up to get this kind of more, a little bit more aerodynamic, um, and maybe, you know, cut off a pound, um, also with bigger batteries, you know, if you went with four times or four batteries instead of two, um, and if, if basically if you're willing to let, let the weight go up to 30 pounds, I think the, based on my calculations, you could get about a, uh, 30 minute flight time, maybe, maybe even 35, um, with 30 pounds of, you know, weight all in the back, you know, motor, um, and mount probably only weighs um, maybe seven pounds, and then the rest of the weight's the battery.